Hello, and welcome to a VR track guide for the Fuji Speedway's original 1968 Grand Prix layout. This is the full layout that includes the massively banked Turn 1, 2, and 3 complex that was removed in later years when the track was shortened for the first time. It's going to be flat out in fifth gear here, waiting to turn in until we can see the bowl down in the valley here of the banking, trying to get as low down to the grass as possible so we can stay flat out. The car will then naturally fade to the outside wall. We're going to be breaking shortly past the last marker here. In trail into third, staying all the way at the top of the banking. Come in where the uh, tire marks start to get really, really dark down towards the grass so that we can be all the way over to driver's right to set up for the subsequent left. It's a very long double left. There's two apexes. You're going to aim it where the track flattens out and there's those bushes there and then try to stay pinned in third to come out towards the access road where these cones are. I do have to brake to set up my McLaren to get into fourth here for the next corner, breaking just before the marker board. In, out, and then back in and staying in as long as possible while trying to get to full throttle to set up for the hairpin. Braking as the road comes straight here. And trail braking nice and heavily in. Looking for our mark out right there. And then we're going to be looking for our turn in point next. It's going to be over here on driver's left looking to get into where this comes out. And then confirming the apex and then coming out again after the big jump. And then again it's going to be out, in, out, and then in again for the final double corner combination. Getting out, looking for the next apex, coming in, picking it up there, and then going out again. There's definitely still some time to be had in it for me, and I think a 145 to a 143 is a decently competitive race lap with the fastest people probably running a 141s to 143s. Good luck this weekend.